It's time to kick the lack or the mentality of lack out of your life. Today, I'm going to show you four things that the most successful people do so that they can keep their lives aligned with abundance instead of limited by the mentality of lack. Stick around. Number one, the first thing that successful people do to get rid of lack in their lives is that they focus on increasing their awareness, increasing their awareness. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of this or if you've ever bought a car yourself. And what happens is you begin to notice all the other cars like yours. If you buy, you know, unless you're buying something exotic, then that may be a little different. But for us normal folk, when you buy a car, it's like something opens up in your awareness and you begin to see all the other cars now that you never even really noticed on the road. But because now you wanted that car and your focus is on that car, it gets magnified. And that's what happens in our lives. There's a reason why if we focus on lack, we're going to magnify lack and we're going to see more lack in our lives. If we focus on abundance, we're going to see more. We're going to magnify more abundance and we're going to see more abundance in our lives. The principle is the same. What you search for, you generally will find. And what you focus on, you will magnify. And when you magnify it, you are, you are giving your energy. You're saying, your energy soldiers, right? Let's pretend like every ounce of energy is a soldier. You're turning to those soldiers and you're saying, hey, go circle around that thing. And if that thing is lack, then you're giving your energy permission to just circle around the fact that you feel like you don't have enough. And some of the most common uh common uh, mentalities of lack that I've seen are, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough knowledge. I don't have enough education. I don't have enough relationships. I don't have enough skill. Oh, why didn't God make me like them? I'm not like that person. And we give our energy to permission to just roam around that lie over and over again until it is supplanted in our mind. And here's what happens. There was a story of a man that went to a, a, a circus and he was so curious how the elephant masters could keep those elephants tied to the, the uh, stake in the ground with just this little chain that they could easily break. But the elephant master told them the reason why they would be able to do that is because they start when the elephants are young infants and they can't break away from the chain. And elephants have such phenomenal memories that as they get bigger and they turn into these multiple ton, you know, pound animals, they no longer try to break away because it's already seared in their brain. They've already wasted their energy trying to break away. And eventually they've, they've accepted that this, this is just what it is. This is, they have this mentality that they can't break away. And we do the same thing in our lives. But hopefully this will help you increase your awareness that you do have the power. You do have the power to create a, a, you know, an abundant mind space. God has given you a mind. God has given you knowledge of who he is so that you know and that you circle your energy and your, and your you know, effort around his truth. So, yeah, the fact maybe you don't have you don't have a lot of money right now. But the truth is, like we talked about with the identity and your source, what's the truth? So we circle our energy around that. We tie our awareness to that. And what happens when we tie our awareness to that, we magnify it. And now we can see opportunity. Now we're not walking around thinking, oh, I don't have, I don't have enough. Now it's like every space may have an opportunity for me. So the first step is increasing your awareness. The second thing we have to do is we have to expand our capacity. And by expanding our capacity is these feelings and thoughts of lack, they are real. They happen. But what, how do we address them? How do we address them by expanding our capacity? Well, let's say, for instance, you feel like you have a lack of love in your life. You know what would expand your capacity? Going out and loving on people. Going out and loving on people removes that, that tight space, that tight and, and small whisper that keeps saying, no one loves you. You're not good enough. You're not going to ever be this. Lack, lack, lack. But when you go out and you love others and you start showing them the same love that you feel like may be missing from your life, you expand your capacity to what? To receive. 
you expand your capacity to be able to bring in more love into your life. And I'm not talking about like any like, uh, what's that called? The, uh, um, what goes around comes around. I'm not talking about like that law. I can't remember what the law is right now. What is it called? Karma. We're not talking about karma. <laughs> this is not, this is not a, a, a karma discussion. What it is, is when we give from a space that we feel lack in, it removes the limits because now we see that it's possible. We're actually positioning ourselves to receive from the people that we love. Just because I showed you love, you, you may be more inclined to show me love. And you may not even know it, but you're filling the space that I felt lacking. But that was, that was initiated, that was triggered because I decided to expand my capacity, not allow my capacity to remain limited. So if you want to get rid of the lack in your life, expand your capacity. Go give from a space that you feel lack. I used to tell people, you know, when I'm a millionaire one day, I'll give, I'll, I'll give, man. I'll give to all these causes. But the truth is I wouldn't give from the 20 bucks I had at that point. So how is my capacity going to automatically just increase? It's not. Money doesn't make you a different person. It just makes you more of who you already are. So don't think that you're going to expand your capacity when you get the resource. Start giving from that space now and expand your capacity, your character. The Bible says that tribulation, tribulation causes perseverance. Perseverance causes character and character leads to hope. That's expansion. Tribulation, when there's a limit, when there's a lack, it can either produce one of two things. It can produce more lack or it can produce perseverance, which is you saying, you know what? Even though I feel lacking this, this space, even though I don't feel love, I'm still gonna go out and love others. And that just expands. And eventually it makes its way through your character into the beautiful land of hope. You wanna get rid of the lack in your life? Expand your capacity. The next thing you can do is, the third thing here is, I, this one I love here. You want to get rid of the lack in your life? Practice gratitude. Practice gratitude. And here's what I mean. Be faithful and grateful with what you already have. Be faithful and grateful with what you already have. Let me ask you something. If you made a list today of all the blessings you have, all the blessings you have, and by blessings, a few examples. If you have eyes that can see, even if they're like mine and they don't see very well, that's a blessing. If you have, if you can do this and oxygen goes into your lungs and you don't fall over and die, that's a blessing, <laughs> right? If, you're, if your limbs, you can feel all of them and you're moving, that's a blessing. If you have energy, you have opportunity. That's a blessing. What would happen if you wrote every blessing in your life down? That car, that house, that job. And you ask yourself this question. Am I maximizing? Am I optimizing every blessing I currently have? Am I giving it its proper due of gratitude? If the answer is no, then that is an open door for the mindset of lack to sneak in. Because it's never enough. It's never enough. I need more. I need more. When the truth is, it's not that we necessarily need more. Sometimes it's that we need to be more appreciative of what we already have. More faithful with what we already have. When I was driving that 96 Honda Accord, I was faithful to that bad boy. Because it was getting me to and from where I needed to go. Was it the best car? No, I had to roll down the window just to let myself out. But it's what I had. And I was proud of it. Doesn't mean I was going to stay there. But that kind of mentality is what opens up your life to abundance. When you can appreciate, when you can be faithful and grateful for what you already have, you remove all space for lack to live. It's like roach spray. 
You just, you spray your mind with anti-lack when you are faithful and grateful with what you already have. And those who are faithful and grateful with what they already have are given more. I'm telling you, this is a principle. Those who are faithful and grateful with what they already have, those are the people that get more. Not the ones who are complaining and missing out on being grateful for just how blessed they really are. I don't care who you are. You have something to be grateful for. All right. So that's three. We got one more to go. If you want to get rid of lack in your life so you can achieve more, so you can break through that, that artificial ceiling of lack, the last thing you need to do is, and this is why it might be a curveball, find someone to celebrate. Find someone to celebrate. My best friend, we call each other all the time just to celebrate little small wins that each other have had. I closed on a property recently and, and there, there he was calling me and screaming through the phone, which sometimes is really annoying, but I love him for it. But he was excited, celebrating. What's the alternative? The alternative is you have somewhere you want to go. You have something you want to achieve in your life. You get on social media. You see someone else who's already achieving that. And, and you feel this, this burning sensation of resentment, of jealousy. Because you don't have that in your life. And so instead of celebrating that person, you just circle around. But why them? Why not me? And that moves into an attitude. And after, after a while, your entire energy has shifted from abundance to lack. How come I don't have? Because they have. But when you change that mindset and you, you decide, I'm going to celebrate, I'm going to write a comment and say, man, this is fantastic. Now you open up your life. You remove any space for lack. Because you know if it's possible in their lives, then I'm going to see that as a sign that it's possible in mine. Because I know my strengths. I know my skills. I know the work that I'm putting into my growth. I know that I'm taking advantage of what I already have and being faithful with what I already have. I know that my awareness is focusing on abundance and not lack. And so I'm going to magnify that. And I'm not going to allow this, this uh, thing, that's disgu- this lack that's disguising itself as insecurity, I'm not going to allow that to rob my life. Instead, I'm going to turn that insecurity into praises on this person, praises on their accomplishment and keep my life free from that ceiling of lack. I hope this was helpful for you. If you do these four things, if you increase your awareness and and make sure you're magnifying the, the abundance in your life and focusing there so your energy will follow. If you make sure that you are expanding your capacity by giving from the places where you feel a sense of lack. If you're practicing to be faithful and grateful for what you already have and doing and making it a practice to celebrate others, you will have no room in your mentality, in your mind for lack. Hope this was helpful for you. Go ahead and hit that notification button, that subscribe button, and stick around because we want to give nothing but value that helps you go higher and higher and higher in your success, your focus, your productivity, and all things. All right? So that's it for this week. I hope you found it to be helpful. I'll see you same time, same place next week, reminding you that success is your destiny. See you on the next one.